the number one mistake back pain sufferers make. In medicine, the right treatment always depends on understanding exactly what's wrong. I mean, the challenging thing about low back pain is that there's so many different problems and then there's even more treatments. In addition, the stakes are high. It's not just about relieving your pain. The wrong treatment is risky. There's nerves involved. It sucks up time and I mean, honestly, it wastes money. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you the number one mistake most people with back pain make and choosing between physical therapy, x-ray, MRI, epidural injection, radiofrequency ablation, and even microdiscectomy surgery for your low back pain problems. Why? Because you deserve better than to be run through a mill of unnecessary treatments. Now, join me for this and more today on Best Practice. <music> Before you learn the number one mistake most people make with back pain, you need to understand the difference between a herniated disc and an arthritic facet joint. I mean, other than both being fruit, apples and oranges are totally different things, right? Similarly, a herniated disc and an arthritic facet joint are both in your low back, but they cause different problems and they have totally different treatments. A herniation results from a tear in the outer part of a disc, you can see that in the light blue, which causes inflammation in a nerve root, red. When the signal from the irritated nerve root reaches your brain, it feels like an electrical pain is shooting down your leg. That's where the irritated nerve root actually goes. I mean, online and in conversation, people call that radiating pain that shoots into your leg sciatica. Most of the time, sciatica is caused by a herniated disc. Okay, now let's talk about the other thing, the arthritic facet joint. You can bend backwards in your life because of your facet joints. You have five on each side of your lower back alone. And just like the joints in all the other parts of your body, they can get arthritis and arthritic joints really hurt. The pain from a facet joint has a very specific pattern. It's off to one side of your back, it feels like it's in your hip, it radiates to your butt, and it burns on your outer thigh. This is totally different than the electrical pain that's not in your back, but is in your leg of sciatica, right? It's a good thing that you can totally tell the difference between a herniated disc with sciatica in your leg apart from a facet joint that causes mostly back pain because they have totally different treatment options. If you have the herniated disc, you've got three choices. And to help you recognize which choice is best for you, I break them down into a decision matrix. You can learn more about my herniated disc decision matrix and how to pick the right treatment for your herniated disc with sciatica in my video, Three Things You Need to Know, if you have a herniated disc in the low back causing sciatica. Low back pain due to arthritic facet joints, on the other hand, is usually treated with radiofrequency ablation, what they call RFA or burning of the nerves. You can find out if you need an RFA in my video, when should you have radiofrequency ablation? Okay. You've been very patient. So what is the number one mistake people with low back problems make? You've been so patient that I can't wait any longer. Drum roll, please. The number one mistake most people make with low back problems is that the treatment isn't right for the problem. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, right? But it happens every day. If you go to any pain management doctor, the first thing they're gonna do is offer you an epidural injection. Well, what if you have facet joint pain? Like 40% of you do. It won't do any good not just one epidural injection, usually three of them. Half of all the people with back pain have the facet pain. There's no need for an epidural injection. So half of all the people who see a pain management doctor are having unnecessary procedures. Again, having the wrong treatment for your problem does you no good, wastes your money, and sucks up time, leaving you in pain. Check the description for links to the videos I mentioned above. 
Make sure this doesn't happen to you. If you have a question you would like answered on Best Practice Live, click the link to our website and complete the submission form. The more information you can give us, the better we can answer your question. So please contact us and we can walk you through uploading your imaging to a secure server. Please like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with information about your spine and joint health.